What's up everybody, Ty with 8 Times Up Outdoors, the crappy YouTube channel that sends out amazing Patreon swag. That's all we got going for us. Uh, I'm in the garage today, as you can tell. Uh, Chris and I are getting ready to go on our annual uh, ice fishing trip. And by annual, I mean we go like once a year because of scheduling and neither one of us really like the cold. Uh, but... I uh, decided to put some stuff together. I got to get all my poles set up and all of that kind of stuff. But I also, one of my things uh, that I don't like about ice fishing is trying to read flashers. I'm just not good at it. So I decided to do a fun little build today after some research that we're going to put up here. So take a look at this. So I have my Hummingbird Helix 7 here, uh, and we're going to try to do a little ice fishing build modification to be able to use uh, on the ice tomorrow. Um, yeah, while we're out there. So we're going to see if we can put this together, show you guys how I have it set up and what I'm going to use and those kind of things. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do uh, is try to cut the foam for transportation purposes. Got to get the two batteries cut in. And I'm going to cut a space just um, so this can get carried. That's not where it's going to end up living uh, when we're on the water because we have a mount that will mount to the top of this case. Um, but I do want to be able to transport it all kind of inside this case. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to start by cutting some foam. So got the battery compartments cut out of the foam. Um, I'll show you this, what it looks like now. So here we go. We got the two compartments. Um, it's got a second piece of foam, which I'm current. Oh, there it goes. We gotta go. Nope, that's all right. I cut this one backwards. So first, first fun piece right there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's going to go like this. It's just going to. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So what this is, um, just to back up just a little, this is a $25 handgun case um, from Walmart. Nothing too fancy. So we've got um, our foam top, foam this. May actually, I wonder. Mm, let me get creative there. We'll see. I don't know how much that'll drive me nuts that it's backwards, but. 25 case we're gonna cut this i've got some other thinner foam that i'm gonna put cut out two little squares to go on the bottom just so those batteries aren't resting directly on uh, the plastic for travel and then we're gonna cut in um, a space probably just through this top piece um, for the fish finder to sit in once we have those two things in, then we'll start figuring out how to wire uh, the electronics, where the plug's gonna go, and those kind of things. All right, batteries are in. Got those, still closes. It's tight, but it will work. So. That should hold that well. Now we're going to cut out the spot for the viewfinder. All right, got that cut out. Um, ended up having to go through both layers. So I'm going to put another base piece down there um, just because this is how I wanted it to sit flat. So we'll have it like that. Um, and now gets the fun part of actually figuring out how to make this thing work. All right. For power purposes, I went down and got this little thingy right here. 
uh, at the local hardware store, Ace. Um, so we're gonna put a couple of terminal pieces on those so that it will plug into the battery easy and then going to figure out the best place to mount this. Um, I happen to have from another project uh, power cord for the um, Hummingbird Helix uh, that plugs into a cigarette lighter. So this combined with those batteries should be the perfect source of power. Boom, got the terminals on there. So now these will plug in. And I actually think my mistake from earlier with like putting the foam backwards and then cutting it out, is gonna help. I'll show you why. All right, so you can see this was the part that was supposed to be towards the handle, but I cut it out backwards in the beginning. And we just rolled with it because it's foam and I go f ice fishing once a year. Not too worried about it. But I think this will work well. This has the two screw holes on there. So I'm going to mount this inside that little gap right there. Screw that in. We'll put a hole through the top um, as well so that the wires can feed in through there. Then we'll be able to plug in the fish finder to that. And then this is just a bonus that we could actually use this to charge phones or uh, GoPros or something like that as well. Hence why I did two batteries, not just one, because there's never a problem with having too much power. We got that mounted in there. That process did not go as smoothly as we would have liked, but it is in there. Note to self, if you're ever drilling holes with foam behind it, take the foam out first. That'll help. Um, but there's that. We've got the power mount in there now. These should come out um, and be able to connect to either battery. Uh, hopefully, I don't need an extension. We'll figure that out. I don't think so. I think that will work perfect there. So this, it goes there. Uh, so now that we have power for this, I'll be able to plug that in. Um, we'll start working on the outside of the case with the mount that'll go on the top, um, a hole for the power cable, and um, for the transducer, we're going to use this pole set up here, and I'll show you how we're going to mount that. But let's start with getting the mount for that set up on the top with the power running in. Okay. Uh, we have come to the point in this project where it was time for the first cool cam because the cables weren't long enough um, to go to the same side. So we got a little creative and just tied these batteries together, which I don't hate because that means uh, you'll get twice the run power. It doesn't do anything else. Um, so yeah, we got those and then the, tied them out to the other sides. I got to get more terminals for those, but power is there. So we got that. Now on to the mounting process. All right, version 1.0 is what this is going to be called because it's not pretty. Um, here, I'll just show you. So we had to cut the power cord. Um, this was too tall for where I mounted uh, that um, power outlet inside the box. So this does give access, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, down there to the USB cords as well. Um, but this isn't my favorite thing. I would have rather just had uh, been able to run the other end. That was the goal. Run this uh, through the hole so it was smaller. But not an option. So that's where we're at. Uh, we can now plug that in. Now we're going to take this uh, right about here and mount that so that the... Uh, Yep, fish finder can sit on top of there. Uh, and yeah, that's step, the next step. All 
right. That was one of the easier parts. Got that mounted on the top. Foam will go on there still to cover it and protect those. So that's done. That makes it an easy connection for that. And that, and that'll hold the hummingbird. And so that will all sit up here, power into there. Now to figure out the transducer piece, which I think I actually have a really cool idea for this. All right, that's a good sign. Plugged her in. It's on the mount on top. And we should be good to go. I don't have the transducer hooked up, so it's not going to pick anything up yet. But that's a good sign. All right. So for the transducer. I had this piece when I originally uh, got my pontoon boat. I was looking at mounting it off of a pole from the back. Um, so I just happened to have this piece uh, that the transducer connects to. So I connected that to a adjustable pole. So this whoop, does that. And then I have a mount uh, from a lighting rig for holding uh, park and lights for our show and so this bolt is going to go into the side of the case and get bolted on and then that will hold this is like a quick release so I'll be able to take that off and pop the pole off but all I have to do is clamp this onto the pole uh, right there once we clamp it onto the pole then it gets dropped into the ice and then no matter how deep the ice is, be able to run that down below the depth of the ice. Transducer will sit flat the whole time and it should work perfect in theory. <laughs> Mounted on the adjustable mount uh, power into there with the cigarette lighter adapter to the two batteries that we mounted earlier. This is clipped to the side, running all the way down to the transducer. Right now it's clipped in here, um, but if you clip it in here, then this is adjustable, even though I think that is gonna be more than enough uh, for any of the ice we're looking at here. And then we got that that it all should travel well boom there's my ice fishing adaption for my hummingbird helix 7. That. hey thanks for watching this video from eight times up outdoors if you enjoyed it uh please like the video subscribe that's a huge help for us also uh we say this over and over we are a crappy youtube channel but we do have amazing patreon swag so if you want to support us and get really cool stuff you actually probably get more than your money's worth out of our patreon swag we're definitely not making anything on it um we just love spreading the word about eight times up make sure you go to patreon.com front slash eight times up outdoors uh until next time tight lines cool cans we'll see you later um